What's happening, folks, and welcome to the latest episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM Wonder Kid series where we look at some of the young players on FM20 and we see how they get on over the course of their careers, both players that I pick and players that the subscribers and viewers yourself suggest. So this is the player that was suggested by a subscriber, and I wanted to do him regardless of what he looked like, because as soon as I saw the name, I thought, right, someone's requested the player, and I'm going to do that. So I'm thinking of moving this series to more of a quest series, so only doing players that you guys request. I've done a few that I wanted to do. So then basically, if you want to see more guys, find some players you want to look at, and I'll do them. I think that's the better way of doing it. That's the main aim of the series was to get you guys to be, you know, suggesting players. So let's take a look at Fasto Vera. Now, also, guys, I'm using a slightly different audio setting. I'm tweaking the settings a little bit on the in post. So let me know, guys, if they're good or if you see any difference. I noticed a difference because I'm just moronic. I'm just maybe picky about this council. But let me know, guys, if you think, oh, yeah, it sounds really crisp or whatever. I think it's better than before. Um, let me know, guys, what you think. So, yeah, center midfielder can play DM or CM. Um, right foot preferred um, out the two, but reasonable, reasonable on his left foot. No player traits. Uh, all around 13 stats, generally speaking, overall, but the work rate is 15. Um, so, yeah. Not defensive midfielder, tackling is 13, passing 13, so you can mold him how you want to, really. I would I would say, let's go forward and see how he gets on in the first few years. So, guys, he's 23 years old and he is not um, in Europe, which is a interesting um, thing to see. He likes to dictate tempo, not a massive increase across here. Let's look at his injury record here and have a look. One serious injury for a t well, one, one, one major injury for three months, and well, technically it's more, but three months out with a torn hamstring, and then two out for four weeks each with a uh, sports hernia and a cleast tendonitis. So, bear that in mind, also down there for sp sprained knee ligaments. So, obviously, like I said, guys, the rule is I do this once, I don't redo players again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, just so they're good. Um, or, you know, to, otherwise it'd be a bit unrealistic. Um, so, yeah, looking at the stats here, definitely a deep line playmaker based on the Dix tempo and the passing um, and the vision 14 and the vision 15. Pretty good. So, definitely a deep line playmaker for me. How much did he go for? That is the question. £4.8 million. Pounds. So, we saw here two goals, six assists, three and two, one and two, one and four, and zero and zero. So, um, yeah, not incredible. But then again, injury record could be, you know, a factor in that. So we're going to jump forward again, guys. And we're going to see, um, actually, has he got his closing contract? He's got £28.5 million pounds closing his contract. This has to put to, to, to protect value for him. So, yeah, no jump. Let's go. So, folks, he's still in... Gigant Suez, as soon as he's trying Super League. Um, and 15 passing is the only really increase in him here. So we're not going to go in for a very short episode, but that's how it's going to be occasionally on these reviews. Uh, just not really worked out. Um, we want to see the injury record again. Not too bad since the twist and ankle he had there. Again, I wanted to do this review anyway because a subscriber suggested, me, suggested him or asked for him. So I wanted to do this review just to you know, be fair. Um, and this first time someone's reviewed a player for, asked me to view, view a player for, I think, a while. So I wanted to just, you know, give him a crack at the whip. 18 goals, though, total for his club. And again, Dan Playmaker, it could be a simple fact that he's just not going to be getting forward a lot. He's going to be sitting there and, just, you know, so it's again, four assists, one assist, three goals, two assists, three and four and three, two and two. It could just be a player that sits in there. He's got a good general rating overall, 7.43. Um, so I think he's just going to be a player that sits deep and is just going to be that kind of dictates tempo kind of guy. Um, he's cheap, which is a plus side for him, £4.8 million. Um, again, if you look at the injury record down here, maybe if he'd been played at a bigger club earlier on with those about his injuries, he could have a lot better. Without, could have a lot better. Without knowing the um, specifics around that start, whether it's low or high, it's hard to give a judgment on that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the suggestion, my friend. Um, what do you think of it yourself? Um, maybe you're just, you're just curious, or maybe you've been great in yours. Uh, let me know down down below in the comment section, mate. And if you've got any more players, guys, you want to look at, 
let me know down below and I'll get on them as quick as I possibly can. I may still do my own ones now and then, but this is not going to be like a, like a series that could be every single other day. I'm going to guarantee one because I want to make sure that um, people get their players in first rather than be recording maths and to rearrange everything. But I will try and get at least a couple of these, a couple of these, a couple of these out a week, uh, if not more, if, if more um, of your suggestions come in. So thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.